So hello fellow Bainwright Collectors, how you going today? This is Glenn, and today we are going to have a look at the United Kingdom uh, 5 and 10 pound banknotes. So I just have a few here. I actually did have more in the past, but I actually sold them. So, ah uh, well, things come and go. Eventually these will end up in someone else's hand. Probably even 100 years from now. So the first banknote I actually have is a 10 pounds and this one was issued between 1975 and 1992 so it actually has not been in circulation since 92 93 it's about 28 years and a thing you need to know about the united kingdom banknotes is that they actually demonetize their banknotes so demonetize no, not demonetise, actually make them not legal tender anymore. So you can't actually go and spend this in a shop, because it's no longer legal tender. But you can exchange it at the Bank of England, because promise to pay pair on demand for £10. So you can actually exchange it at the Bank of England, but you cannot actually spend it in shops. And the same with uh, these banknotes from the 1990s. Uh, no longer legal tender Also another thing about UK banknotes is that they just get better and better So the current series which is the polymer banknotes are actually the best series you actually can find uh, This series from 1975 is the start of the banknotes getting better uh, Banknotes 100 years ago, so 1920 are actually pretty poor uh, considering the banknotes that actually existed in Germany in other European countries like France, uh, China at the time they're actually better quality than the UK banknotes of the 1920 period so here we have Queen Elizabeth II and it looks like we have some actual uh, is that an orchid? And here we have the Britannia, which was first introduced in Roman times. So she's sitting down with uh, the Union Jack on the shield. Chief Cashier's GM Gill. And you can see the serial numbers. So you've got 30... For each series you've got about... Uh, that's... 100 million, so all the numbers make up 100 million, so 2.6 billion plus times 26, whatever that makes. So the security feature, you've got a security thread, you've got a watermark, and the watermark is actually that woman. And if you turn over the other side, it's actually this girl. Uh, Florence Nightingale. Heard about her, but I don't know actual much of information. You can find a lot of information off from her online. Obviously, it looks like she might be some type of nurse based on people are in bed. Or, I could be wrong, but anyway, it's actually a nice portrait of a female who's not the queen on the banknote. So that's a nice early series on the banknote. Uh, so this one's probably um, mid 80s to late 80s. And these banknotes, if you're wanting to buy, you're probably talking about 40 to $50. Uh, the exchange rate is roughly 10 pounds equals $20. And uh, I haven't actually seen that many that are actually under forty dollars, so that's basically what you'll be paying for something like this. Probably in slightly better grade, but you know, nice banknote. So next two I have. So this is actually the ten pounds I actually took over from the larger ten pounds, and as you can see, they've actually reduced the size when I actually changed that over. The current ten pounds is actually also this size, and this banknote was introduced in 1992. So 
is the first time they actually put the date that it was actually uh, printed in. And usually they issue it a year after the actual copyright date on the actual banknote. So this one's actually, and uh, the design's actually a lot better. It has an updated portrait of Queen Elizabeth. And the first note in 92 actually didn't have the 10 here. It actually had the your body and crown which they actually subsequently replaced with the actual uh, 10 and on the other side uh, what did they oh yeah they actually put the 10 pound up here so it's basically there's two different varieties so here we have Charles Dickens who was a playwright wrote many plays I think um oh, was Charlie in the Chalk no not Charlie in the Chalk Factory can't remember what it was called. Oh, Oliver's oh, oh, Twist? Oh, I can't remember what it was called. Anyway, the cricket match. The Nelly the, against the Muggleton. From the Pickwick Papers, 1836. Early version of cricket. So that's him. The watermark is also... Queen Elizabeth II on these banknotes has the security thread, so the watermark there. And oh, I forgot to say Britannia is also on this banknote, has a lot of uh, security features to uh, try and stop you from actually printing your banknote. So, this one you're probably looking at uh, probably 20 to 30 dollars because these ones are a bit more common than the larger ones uh, because in the 70s and 80s there was actually a lot of inflation and that actually reduced the value of the 10 pounds so they printed more 10 pounds to make up for it and the last one I have is the current smallest banknote that they actually have in circulation and what I forgot to say about the other banknote is that this one was replaced in about 2000. So it didn't last in circulation about eight years. And UK banknotes pretty much have a life between 10 and 15 years for each issue. Currently it's running about roughly 10 years. So every 10 years they change their banknotes. Unlike Australia, which is in, in the 50 years, we've only changed our banknotes three times. So it's a little bit over it. Okay, so here we have the five pounds. And as you can see, there's a nice security feature here. Uh, there's a security thread. The watermark is Queen Elizabeth II again. And let's have a look. Unlike the ten pound, the five pound actually has different colours in the serial number on that side. And this side of serial number is just normal. Um, just looking at information on the... There was actually two issues of the £5 as well. Um, so this one has the light 5 here. And the second one issued in 99. Uh, actually had the darker issue. So this one was first issued probably 1991. And it actually was replaced in 2002, so it hasn't been used for 18 years, pretty much. It would have been uh, demonetised probably 2003, but you can still exchange it at the Bank of England. So, yeah, quite a nice bank note. Uh, the exchange rate is about ten pounds, even though you can't actually exchange it at the bank. It's, I mean, not ten pounds, ten dollars. So probably for a banknote like this, probably paying about ten to twenty dollars. And um, on this side, we have uh, George Stevenson and and a rocket like a motive. So an early type of train. You can see the pipe before the actual smoke to come out. Here's the actual boiler. And you probably put coal in the front. 
So that is Stephen's Rocket Locomotive, 1829. Uh, Skurney Bridge on Stockton Starlington Railway. If you're not too familiar with railway, they've actually invented in the UK, and that's when the early versions took off, and then they were adopted around the actual world. So that's actually quite a nice banknote. So here's his birthday, 18, uh, 1781 to 1848. So it's been, this is quite a long time. And I am Charles Dickens's birthday was 1812 and he passed away in 1870 look at his long beard so anyway quite a nice series uh, they actually do have 20 and 50 pounds for both series and the first series also has one five pounds that go along with it so yeah hopefully I'll be able to actually get the whole series one day uh, but a pity it actually demonetized the banknotes. Switzerland did that until the previous series. Uh, they used to demonetize the banknotes and you had 20 years to actually exchange it, but they've uh, actually got rid of that. So the older series is actually still legal tender. You can still use it. And you can still exchange it at the Swiss National Bank, which uh, I think the UK could do it because it's really, I don't understand why countries actually demonetize their currency. Unless they want to confiscate wealth from people. So, that is why the UK should get off the rails of becoming a despotic oligarchy. Anyway, this is not a political channel. And uh, just keep on collecting beautiful banknotes. I'd like to say thank you very much for watching my video. I'll leave a link down below to UK banknotes. And have an awesome banknote collecting time. Thank you and goodbye.